Hello and welcome back to Biblical Receipts Podcast. Question is, why don't Geno Jennings, as well as every other pastor out there around the world, ever mention this, God's kingdom? Why don't they ever preach about what God's kingdom is and what that kingdom is going to accomplish? Have any pastor ever broken down the prayer? You know, the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray here, Matthew 16, about thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Have anyone ever broke that prayer down to you, verse by verse? I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's never been done in anybody's church. Yeah, because everybody I asked that belongs to some church have no clue. But here's just a sample. Now, we're talking about God's kingdom here. That's the whole point of this video. His kingdom and what that kingdom is going to accomplish right here on earth. Because the prayer says, thy will or God's will be done on earth. Then it says, as it is in heaven, meaning that his will has already been accomplished in heaven. We're praying for that will to take place right here. Right here. It says on earth. In earth, on earth, same thing. It doesn't matter. I've had I had some individual say, well, it's going to be in earth, inside earth. No. It means on earth. Okay, the King James Bible, you have to, you know, kind of take it with a grain of salt. But he's talking about his will being done on earth. What is his will? for the earth and the bible actually outlines what that will or god's will is going to accomplish once it takes over daniel 244 describes much of that occurrence when daniel was describing to king nebuchadnezzar the final part of the days what was going to occur god's kingdom was basically one of the things he's going to accomplish is get rid of all earthly governments Yes, the United States as well, Great Britain, Russian, Asian governments, African governments, all human governments, all human rulerships, God's kingdom will eliminate, as well as all of those who support them, including their military. That's what the scriptures say, point blank. Because humans have failed miserably in providing the things that humans need earthwide, period. So God's kingdom is going to eradicate the riffraff, if you will, period. The Bible explains that in detail. Now, we're talking about God's kingdom, okay? God's will being done on earth. Matthew 3, 1. John the Baptist, before Jesus started preaching, what was John the Baptist doing? This scripture here at Matthew 3, 1 is bringing it out. It says, in those days, and I'm reading from the King James right there in the classic translations in the middle. It says, in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. What was he preaching? Matthew 3, 2. And saying, repent for, repent. And saying, repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay? Kind of talking about well, Jesus was on his way to start carrying on that work that John was doing. Matthew 4, 17. Here's Jesus. From that time, Jesus began to preach and to say, repent for the kingdom of the heavens is at hand. That kingdom is extremely important. That kingdom, Geno Jennings, T.D. Jakes, Creflo Dollar, Benny Hinn, Paul Epstein, and all the rest of them, they don't preach about what God's kingdom is going to accomplish. They don't teach individuals point by point, verse by verse, the things that that kingdom is going to accomplish right here on earth. When we knock on your door and we try to get you to open up your Bibles and we hear, oh no, my pastor, we good over here. We got it. We good. We good. No, you're not good. Because you have no clue. Because we get blank stares as to, well, what is God's kingdom? What is it going to do? Point blank. Okay? Matthew 10, 7. 
Jesus was teaching his disciples, his followers. He says, as you go, preach saying the kingdom of the heavens is at hand. How many religions do you know actually are doing this? I only know one. Now, if you know more, you let me know. I only know one. Matthew 24, 14. It says, and this gospel or this good news of the kingdom shall be or will be preached in all the world, or all the inhabited earth, for a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. Yes, that good news of the kingdom, God's kingdom, what that kingdom is going to accomplish is being explained to those humble individuals who would love to know what that kingdom will do. See this? Many of you recognize what this is. This is called the Watchtower. This is in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's the most widely distributed magazine on the planet. That's right. This brochure here takes you to your Bible, regardless of the translation, and explains to you in details, verse by verse, what God's kingdom is going to accomplish right here on earth. Only a few humble people will actually accept it and read it. The rest, well, we got to shake, the, shake them off. Time is running out. Many of you know we are living in the last days. And God only, he's only looking for humble people to be a part of this heavenly government that's going to rule mankind. Only the humble. Period. The next time somebody comes to your door or you see them on the street, you might want to accept it and just take the time to read it. It ain't going to cost you nothing. These are free of charge. We're not like your pastor. We don't charge you a salary for trying to teach you God's word. We're all volunteers. Vo volunteers. We don't get paid a cent. When we knock on your door, we don't get a commission. We do it because Jesus commanded us to do it. Matthew 28, 19 and 20. He said, go therefore and make disciples. And that was a command. And only one organization on this planet right now is actually doing that. Whether you want to believe it or whether you want to like it or not. Just one. And you know who we are. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video.